Today we are making chocolate cake. So the first thing that we have to do is mix together the dry ingredients. So right here we have one and one third cup of all purpose flour. And we're going to add in two third cup of cocoa powder. Once we've added that in, we're going to add one half teaspoon of cinnamon. And to that mix, we're going to add two fourths or one half teaspoon of salt. And then next we're going to add our baking powder, which is one teaspoon. And lastly, we're going to add our baking soda, which is one and a half teaspoons. Now that we've added all of these together, we're going to mix it until well combined. So right now we have our dry ingredients all mixed and well incorporated. Um, as you can see, we moved it into a larger bowl because at the end, everything is going to be mixed into the dry ingredients. So just take into account that you might need a large bowl for all of this. And now to our mixed uh, cocoa powder mix, we have, um, we're going to add one and one third cup of uh, granulated sugar. And we're going to add two thirds cup of brown sugar. And we're gonna mix this until well incorporated and make sure there aren't any lumps and bumps uh, like while you're mixing um, so that you don't get any lumps and bumps in your cake and it cooks all evenly. Next, we're going to mix together our wet ingredients. So first to the bowl, we're gonna add four eggs. Next, we're adding one cup of sour cream. The brand I'm using is the Daisy Sour Cream, but you can use any brand, it doesn't really matter. Next, we're going to add in four tablespoons of vegetable oil. Next, six tablespoons of water. And lastly, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Once we've added all our ingredients, we're now going to mix it all together until well incorporated. So 
So just a quick tip before you put it inside of the oven is tapping the cake uh, the pan onto the counter three times and it eliminates the amount of air bubbles there are inside of the cake. Air bubbles lead to the cake not cooking well um, in some places. So for the cake to cook evenly in all of the, um, the through the whole thing, you need to try and take out most of the air bubbles. So just tap it on the counter three times. Um, we preheated the oven at uh, 325 degrees and you can preheat for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, whatever you seem fitting. And now we're going to put the chocolate cake into the oven and bake for 30 to 40 minutes and occasionally check to see if the cake is cooking. Uh, if you need to increase the heat because the cake isn't cooking enough, you can always do that. Uh, but the highest I advise is going up to 350. Anything above might burn your cake or make it cook uh, too fast. But yeah, just occasionally check to see how the cake is doing. So the cake is done and so now we're going to take it out of the oven. A way to test if the cake is done is to poke something through it and to see if any of the batter comes back onto the stick or the fork that you poke into the cake. If not, that means your cake is done. Um, we did cook it for an additional one hour since it is uh, quite a big cake and it's pretty thick. So you may have to cook it for additional time um, as much as you need for your individual cake. But now that it's done, we're going to take it out and then let it cool for some time. And after you've let it cool, you should be able to take it out of the pan um, and enjoy. So the cake is cooled, so um, for decorations, we're going to add some powdered sugar on top. This step is optional, you do not have to do it, but it does um, make the cake look very nice and adds an extra taste, a uh, nice taste to it. Now we're gonna taste test the chocolate cake. really good. I like it because it's really chocolatey and it's not too much sugar or no sugar at all. And the powdered sugar gives it a really nice taste. 